Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So after rounds of elimination matches, now it is the WOC War of the Chosen Season 4 Grand Finals. And here for the Grand Final, we have Panda and G-Shark team. Now a quick rundown about the team background. Panda is the defending champion, the winner of the WOC Season 3. While G-Shark is not that foreign either, especially to the older players, the team is led by Roger X. He had participated in the WOC Championship several times in the past. Roger X and his team had fought in WOC Season 1, but the journey was cut short when they lose to Lick My Mana team in the quarterfinals. He and his team made a comeback in WOC Season 2 with a new team name called Goodbye. Speculated that the name indicated their final attempt in the WOC Championship to back home the champion title. However, although they did did better in WOC Season 2, they fell to advance when they lose to Monster Team in the semi-finals. And now for WOC Season 4, he came back again with his team named G-Shark. This time he is in the Grand Finals. Now Panda and G-Shark, this is not the first time they have a match. They had met each other in the winner's bracket quarterfinals, resulting in G-Shark winning the match by 3-0, forcing Panda Team to then compete in the loser's bracket record against Monster X begin in the semi-finals for a chance to secure a place at the Grand Finals. Panda won against Monster X begin and advanced to the Grand Finals and once again will be fighting G-Shark. Will Panda defeat G-Shark on this second time? Well, we actually already know the result, but what strategy will Panda use for this time? Alright, in the first meeting, Panda team did not use the usual strategy against G-Shark. The Warlock and Minstrel combo which they had used and ultimately made them the champion during the WOC season 3. It is very effective at that time. They dominate their opponent, the monster team, throughout the match. But this time it is different. G-Shark have a long range DPS in their team lineup, leave the longbow shadow chaser user, which will easily penetrate the warlock and minstrel defensive field. So I think that is why Panda team decide to go without the warlock and minstrel during the their first meeting in the quarterfinal, but even that, they lose to G-Shark by 3-0, a total defeat. So in the final, they need another strategy, and you guess it, they bring in Faker, the Warlock, and Mr. J, the Minstrel, although here he changed his name to Tumquila. So I am going to call the player's name as what they had registered here in WOC Season 4. In the first match, we see Panda team immediately use the signature skill, the Minstrel Siegfried skill to lower the team elemental damage received and the warlock spamming skills to protect the team from being invaded by G-Shark, Royal Guard and Royal Knight. At the same time, Ninja Pao or I think he is Pao Pao from previous season. The Panda Longbow Shadow Chaser user is going out hunting G-Shark Warlock. G-Shark is in a bad situation. The warlock can only run around avoiding Ninja Pao attack and at the same time, whenever he tries to come nearer to the field to try to cast a magic attack, Warlock Faker long range attack will reach him and kill him. Despite this, the Minstrel Siegfried feel is not immune to physical attack. Roger X did not feel threatened at all and keep targeting Faker inside the field and successfully take Faker down. Leaf, on the other hand, tried to give the Warlock a helping hand by attacking Spy Daddy, or he used the name Spider in his match from chasing the Warlock in attempt to make damage and force him to retreat, but so far it is not effective. Faker is in now running around the arena. What happened to the minstrel Siegfried field protection? Faker realized she cannot withstand Royal Guard Roger X constant attack even inside the minstrel protection and decided to break the combo and going solo. This spelled trouble to the panda team. Now that the signature skill, the combo had been broken, it is not effective against G-Shark. And now G-Shark Warlock can finally close the gate between Faker and it is a Warlock against Warlock fight. But 
he still need to run away from Spider. Faker faced so much challenge in this match. He was targeted by Roger X, but if she move away from the protective field, Leaf and the Warlock are there to target her. She and Panda need to think a new strategy fast. few seconds before the first match and both teams are focusing on to stay alive until the very end to win the game. Both team warlocks are being targeted by each team. They are both running away to stay alive. Time is up and G-Shark win the first match. Second match start. Both teams remain the same team lineup. No changes are made. On the second match, Roger X and Leaf are constantly switching roles with each other. If Roger X is targeting Faker, Leaf will target Ninja Pao, and when either one of the target dies, they quickly switch the target, and now Roger X will target Ninja Pao and Leaf will target Faker. This seems so quick, but I never see them attack on the same target together. During the first meeting in the quarterfinals, Roger X and Leaf worked together very well. That time, their target was Ninja Pao. When Ninja Pao uses hiding skill, Roger X will cast the chain skill on Pao so Leaf can see where Pao is going. Leaf then follows Pao and land continuous attack on him. And just like that, they keep the momentum going until Pao keeps dying in the quarterfinals and they win by 3-0 points. But I can't see that here in this grand final match, maybe Faker poses a great threat to G-Shark that Roger X needs to keep his eye on her constantly. This is my opinion but if they target Ninja Pao, I think the chances of winning is higher. Ninja Pao it seems easier to be killed than Faker. Then again, targeting Pao maybe is risky because of his hiding skill and mobility. Maybe Roger X decide it is better to take down Faker instead. G-Shark is solid in the second round, with the Warlock now more familiar with Panda team attack pattern and successfully avoid any fatal attack. Panda on the other hand still with the same strategy, with Faker is now taken down multiple times.
Last 10 seconds, the crucial moment for both teams. Both teams need to stay alive until the end to win the match. Time is up and once again G-Shark team win the match with now 2-0. G-Shark need one more win to be titled as the winner for the WOC Season 4. Third match start, G-Shark feeling confident. Roger X rush forward showing dominance in this match. But he knows better, he is not to be so reckless. He still needs to be careful. Panda knows exactly what to do now. Spider and Ninja Pao are chasing G-Shark Warlock. Looks like they found the weaker link in G-Shark team and now they are pressuring the warlock. Shockingly, Ninja Pao was first to beat down. Ninja Pao still need to be careful. He needs to be aware of his surrounding when moving around the arena. If you had watched their match in the quarterfinals, Ninja Pao was constantly in a bad position on the map, always positioned himself at the wrong side of the arena, making him an easy target for Roger X and leave. In my opinion, one of the reasons contributing to their defeat in the quarterfinals. So Ninja Pao need to be better positioned himself in this grand final. So not to repeat the same mistake. With Spider and Ninja Pao constantly tracking, chasing and attacking G-Shark Warlock, the Warlock can't run away too far and is brought to the ground again and again. This situation is not in G-Shark's favor. They need to think what to do fast to help the Warlock. JJ, G-Shark Sage or Sorcerer is keeping up with the Warlock, picking him up. But it is not enough to give the support that the Warlock needed. All that the Warlock can do is to move around to find safe space away from Ninja Pao and Spider. Leaf on the other hand in the third match is being more cautious. He is not engaging or making attacks as much as the previous two matches. He can be seen just move around at the outer part of the arena circling around. I don't know if he is avoiding something or if he lost visual of the target that he wants to aim. His target is Faker, Panda Warlock. Surprisingly, Faker is much more tankier this time than the last two matches. She doesn't seem to be able to be taken down easily this time. I wonder what has changed. G-Shark by now had lost the members multiple times. Panda might can turn the game around this time. G-Shark Warlock is still chased by Spider and Ninja Pao. Thirty seconds left. Leaf is hiding away from the center, keeping himself alive so to not be taken down at the last moment.
Oh, the lower look is down. Ninja Pao is down. A crucial last moment for both teams. Both players had been resurrected. G Shark Warlock almost died there. Left 4 seconds. Both team members managed to stay alive until the end, but the winner for the third match is given to Panda Team. Panda had turned this match around. This is their first win against G-Shark. Fourth round start. No changes had been made. This is an advantage to Panda Team as they finally somehow find the right counter to G-Shark Team. Just like the third match, Spider and Ninja Pao lock on G-Shark Warlock and start chasing him. Not even one minute into the game, the Warlock is down. This just further proves that whatever the Panda team is doing, it is effective against G-Shark this time. Faker Panda Warlock is still as tanky as last time. She just can't be taken down by Leaf. Does Leaf do not have the attack speed to break Faker given shield? Or Faker have so incredibly high defense? Does Roger X do not attack Faker anymore? Roger X is seem to give their Warlock assist by chasing Ninja Pao instead, hoping Ninja Pao to back away from their Warlock, but so far this is just not doing well for G-Shark. Most of the fourth match is a chasing game by Spider and Ninja Pao to G Shark Warlock. Although Sorcerer JJ and Archbishop Poknaja is constantly keeping up with him, giving him support, but they were in multiple times separated, leaving the Warlock alone and killed by Spider and Ninja Pao. Roger X seems lost direction on what to do. His attack is not calculated, it is random, attacking whoever he thinks needs backup. Leaf, on the other hand, is nowhere to be seen on the arena. I don't see much of him in action with this camera angle. When finally the camera pointed at him, he is hiding away. I am not sure what is the strategy here. Is he looking for opportunity to attack or just surviving? He may have a plan, but I don't see if it is helping to the team. So now G-Shark Warlock had died a few times, and Panda team is not getting much casualties on their part. If this is prolonged to the end, I think we already know who is going to win.
time's up and Panda win the fourth match. Now it is tied with two two points. The last match will be the deciding match to crown the champion of the WOC season four. The final match, G Shark switch out the Warlock and bring in Royal God Zanban Toes to the final match. A smart decision in my opinion. The Warlock clearly is at disadvantage. He cannot do anything in the arena than just running around to stay alive. So with these changes, what strategy will Panda come up with? With a tankier lineup, this time G Shark looks solid with the defense. Now they can focus on offensive rather than running around to stay alive. Panda Warlock Faker is now in trouble. He is now the target for G Shark. Now that G Shark do not have to worry about the defense, they are attacking Faker. Oh, finally Faker's shield and defense is broken and is taken down. This looks good on G-Shark, but oh boy, this is bad for Panda. Now finally we can see Leaf is engaging in this match. He was so careful at the last match, calculating his action very considerately. He is not being targeted this time, and now he is freely attacking. So where are Spider and Ninja Pao? Spider is now aiming for Leaf, but with hiding skill, Leaf can easily break away from Spider radar, making him hard to track Leaf movement. We can see now the match is totally the opposite from the last match. Fakers is now running in circle, chased around by Roger X and Zamban Toes, a totally different side. Spider at this time trying his best to protect Faker from the attackers, chasing away Leaf and come back again to pressure Zamban Zanban toes, making him go away, but then Leaf will come back and attack Faker. He is in a hard position, but he got to keep it up until the very end. Ninja Pao is also in a hard situation. After the Warlock he switched out, he ran out of target. All of G-Shark members are very tanky. He can only attack Leaf, but even so, Leaf has hiding skill and hard to locate. So his attack is not effective on any of the G-Shark members. He resort in assist Faker, dealing damage as much as he can to Faker's attackers so Faker can escape to find safe space. But one thing is clear, Panda is being heavily suppressed by G-Shark in this last match.
10 seconds left more or less, Faker is taken down. This is looking bad for Panda. Faker is quickly resurrected and taken down again. Ninja Power is next to be targeted and Japao is down. Time's up in 3, 2, 1. Both Faker and Ninja Pao are not resurrected to the very end. G-Shark win the last match and after 4 seasons, Roger X and Team G-Shark is the champion of the War of the Chosen WOC Season 4. Thank you